In this video, we are going to see how we can deploy Angular application to AWS EC2 instance. Let's go to AWS console, click on EC2. Let's search for instances, click on instances. There you'll see no instance is running, click on launch instance. Let's try to add some name to our instance and it's called YT Angular. And let's scroll down. I'll be using Linux. Let's create new key pair and name it as NS code white angular oh it's already so let me remove this to angular only like uh, NS code white only so now create key pair so see i'm saving it in one desktop only now let's scroll down let's see like uh, it's all like uh, we are using free tire only click on this checkboxes and click on launch instance so this instance launch will take some time let's see so these are like not running in services click on aws uh, logo then ec2 and click on instances so you can see there is one instance running but status is still initializing so let's see our angular application that we are going to deploy so it's a simple to-do list app like task i can add task 2 i can add task 3 that i can add you can remove this tasks so this is our like this angular application which is we are going to deploy so here is the code for that let's build this code by using command ng build so it's building we'll wait for some time yeah it's done so let's review in file explorer let's see in the browser so whatever it's present there we'll simply copy we'll go to desktop so just remember like uh, we have saved our uh, pem file in desktop so we'll be adding a list folder in our desktop so this folder and we'll paste whatever we have copied so it is basically our list, uh, like build folder now let's go to ec2 instance refresh let's check if the status is changed or not we'll refresh it again we'll then let's in, like open the git bash cd one drive cd desktop and here let's try to refresh again yeah now it says two and two check fast lot of this check fast so let's go to ssh and you can click on connect and go to the ssh client and simply paste it over here so it will you'll have to simply write yes now let's click create one more git flash and cd then the one drive edit desktop now here we will deploy our code to ec2 instance so by using scpi then we will name the use the name of our pem file that is ns code yt dot pem ns code yt dot pem then we will go to our uh, dash r that is for our uh, folder which folder that is dist folder and star like whatever the data present in that this folder will copy on we will have to copy this ac2 user till the amazon aws.com and we'll again have to tell it at which uh, destination folder we want this so we will add it like this oh there is some issue yeah we'll just need to add the slash before this so i'll remove the slash and add it over here press enter so as you can see this code has been deployed to my ec2 instance let's go and check lslrt as you can see this folder is there we'll simply give it permission chmod trip or sudo chmod triple seven dust as you can see we have all these uh permissions over here like uh Let's install the nginx to simply write sudo yum install nginx dash y. As you can see, at the end there is complete, which means the nginx is installed. Let's write sudo system ctl enable nginx. So it has been started. So let me increase the size so that you can see easily whatever the command I'm writing. Let's go to this instances ec2 running instances click on this instance id and click on open address 
So this is a public address. So we'll have to remove this HTTPS as we are not using HTTPS for now. So on refresh, it should show the nginx basic, like the main page, like the nginx has been installed. So let me restart this. So we'll simply write instead of enable, we'll write restart. And let's refresh the page. As you can see, welcome to nginx, which means the nginx has been installed successfully in our Linux. Now let's write. Now uh, let's we will have to change the con file of nginx. So for that we will write sudo nano etc nginx nginx dot con. So here we here we'll have to change something. So here we will add the server name first. So this server name we can get from our uh, Amazon console only. So click on connect. Then copy this part before the add it and add it as a server paste it over here add one semicolon then change the root to our slash home slash ec2 user and what is our folder that is this folder and add one more thing like index as index.html and semicolon then we'll have to write location slash which means by default at uh, what will be the files that will be shown so we'll write try underscore files dollar uri dollar uri index dot html now, now click control o then enter and then control x control o con enter then control x to save these changes okay so let's do that yeah, control X. So now we have exited and we have changed the save. We have saved the changes that we have done. Now we will change the owner of the root directory to of, of nginx to our you home EC2 user desktop folder. So we will be using the code sudo change owner dash r nginx nginx home EC2 user desktop. Now we will give the permission to our home is it a user test folder test we'll again add one more permission sudo chmod then 755 slash home slash is it a user slash user slash then um it basically home slash is it a user slash dist press enter now let's make it as chmod644 to the index.html of our list folder index.html now let's write the command sudo nginx dash t to see if the configuration is running successful or not so as you can see test is successful so we'll simply write sudo system ctl reload nginx and then system uh, sudo system ctl restart nginx now if you go to the browser and refresh this you will see that our angular application has been deployed to aws ec2 instance and it's working perfectly fine we'll add and try with task 2 task 3 and then uh, we'll try to remove some which means our angular application has been deployed to ec2 instance properly so if you like this video uh, subscribe to our channel thank you